Hi ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. I'm Amanda and I have this YouTube channel. <laughs> Today I uh, wanted to say I'm sorry that I haven't made this video earlier. I was going to make a, a video before now. Like I know it's been a couple, a little bit, a couple weeks I think since, I don't know, since I uploaded but um, I got sick and I've had a cold so I didn't feel like doing anything but I'm going to try to do some more stuff soon. <laughs> so this video is going to be about the ring test which is the gender ring test for baby and this is because my sister asked me to do it and so I was going to film it and then like put it on Facebook so she could see. Um, and I hope you guys like it too. Uh, I haven't really done any gender like test things like I know there's um, the baking soda test. I only know that because I watched another YouTuber that I've been watching a lot. Um, she's in my comments sometimes so we talk back and forth and uh, uh, I'd like to steal it but I feel kind of bad for wanting to steal like some stuff that she's done. Uh, I think she's also done what is it called? Oh my gosh the cabbage I think it's called the cabbage test or whatever where they boil cabbage and like mix pea or something to figure out like I can't remember how to do it but I did watch that one and it was a little bit ago I have a little <laughs> trouble with like words and thinking lately because my brain has been hurting a lot I've been having really intense headaches and I'm glad that I'm kind of pale right now because you can't tell but my skin is pretty bad and also uh, uh, my teeth have been bleeding <laughs> so I'm 14 weeks now and five days I believe so there's that okay so this test uh, I've never done it and I don't know much about it but my sister like I said asked me to do it so I'm gonna read real fast so I can try to remember but I probably will forget halfway through and have to read it again that's how bad my memory has been but um this test involves threading a wedding ring onto a thread or a piece of hair hold the dangling ring over the pregnant belly of mom to be while she is laying down if the ring swings back and forth like a pendulum she is carrying a boy. If the ring swings in a, cir a strong circular motion, she is carrying a girl. Okay, so circle is girl, to and fro is boy. Okay. Very quickly, I'm going to show you what I've chosen to use. I do not have a wedding a wedding ring. Um, I made a wedding ring. I knitted, hand knitted my husband and I's wedding ring, but. Um, Unfortunately, I lost it during the wedding pretty much like right after I knitted another one that I wore for a little while And then again that one fell off. So um, As I lost weight, it was easy to fall off. So I'm gonna use my promise ring that my husband gave me uh, When we were together only six six months I'm trying to see if I can get a, a good shot of it, but that's my promise ring and then instead of hair or string I chose this very tarnished uh, silver necklace that I need to clean it is my favorite necklace chain and it is from my aunt uh, who gave it to me when she was she bought it for me for Christmas when she was in Italy I'm not gonna use it but just for the hell of it I want to show you the ring that I made my husband um, I hand knitted this and mine was in the same color except it was much smaller and I think it had like a bow or something um, so it tied with a bow and that's it now on to the test Got it. Okay, I'm holding it as still as I can. I'm also holding the camera so it's a little hard. And it's not moving much. It's going back and forth a tiny bit, but... So I had my first, like, dream about the baby the other day. And most of the time I'm pregnant, um, but I'm not actually, like had the baby yet 
and my sister comes in and tells me she's pregnant too, <laughs> but she's not happy about that dream that I've been having. Um, but this dream, I, it was in the hospital and we had just had the baby and it was a girl and she was nine pounds, like to 10 pounds. She was big. I don't know. I don't see anything. I'll try to turn it. Maybe if I get lower to my belly. <laughs> oh, it's starting to swing. It could be because I'm shaking though, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> That's too funny. Try to get really close to the belly. Well, it's definitely going in like more circular. What do you guys think? I'll let it go for a second. Okay. Okay, so I say that's a pretty leaning towards a girl result to me. What do you guys think? Do you think that was a girl or a boy? I think I saw it going in a circle motion more often than not. But like I said, I was shaking a little bit. I've had a really bad headache for like three days now. And I've been, I had a cold for um, a little while before then. For about a week or something. So <laughs> I might be a little weak. <laughs> So I could always try it again if you guys uh, want me to, but I thought that was a pretty good one. And I wanted to show you my pretty ring, because my husband did get it for me. Is it going to focus? It focused a couple minutes ago, even though my face was in, in like... Look how pretty my ring is. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't wear it very much because... Um, I normally would wear it on my ring finger, but my ring finger is a little like chubby and swollen, so I don't really wear it that often. But it's just a promise ring, but I wear it as, you know, almost like my wedding ring. <sighs> so, uh, so that was what the ring looked like. I don't think I got a good shot of it before. So real fast, I wanted to say that I want to say thank you to my sister Patty for this idea. I was gonna just do it and tell her the results, but I thought it would make a really cool video and she was like, oh, just um, do the ring test, see if that tells you the gender. And if you guys have an idea for a video for me that you would like to see, let me know. I will try to do it. And I hope you guys have a good day and thank you for watching. Bye.